Hi, this is Dan Whedon. I'm a nationally recognized insurance expert, and today we're gonna to talk about co-op insurance. <laughs> now, co-op insurance doesn't get very much play out in the world uh, of insurance company advertisements. You don't hear of them very much. You may have heard of co-ops in the past with farmers especially that come together as a group and they put all of their money into this co-op to, to purchase things. The same thing can happen with auto insurance. In fact, you may have heard of the Grange. The Grange is a co-op. And so it's a way for industries or for groups of people to say we want to control our insurance costs and so we're going to co-op together be cooperative, pool our insurance funds, and then pay out for any types of claims. And companies come out of that. Co-op insurance, auto insurance, as you can imagine, doesn't spend a lot of money on marketing. That's why you haven't heard of it. And it can be very difficult to get into because you need to be into that group, that specific group, in order to make that work. So uh, co-op insurance is, is not out there a lot. You may see it, and if you hear about it, it's probably because you're part of a group that could be involved with it. My name is Dan Whedon. Today we've talked a little bit about co-op insurance and how it differs from the normal insurance that you buy. Thanks for joining us.